Hey guys, it's Olivia and welcome back to my channel. Today I have filmed my January favorites for you guys and I don't have too many favorites, but the favorites that I do have I've been using like a mad woman. If you guys do want to see what I have been loving this month for January, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to start with something completely random, which my best friend Georgia got me for Christmas and it's a shower speaker. So the reason it's green, I believe they come in other colors, but I, it's green because her favorite color. <laughs> cool. Um, the reason it's green is because her favorite color is green, and it's just kind of like an inside joke. It is Bluetooth, so it just hooks up to your phone or your iPod or your iPad or your computer or whatever. And yeah, so I will have it linked down below. I believe she just got it off of Amazon, and it comes in different colors, and there's a ton of different shower speakers, but this has just been a favorite. <laughs> okay, so my next favorites are phone cases, and these are from scarletandgoldshop.com, and they were so generous and sent me a ton of phone cases, and I don't need all of them, so I'm gonna be giving them away to you guys. Um, so, if you have a six plus, you can enter in the giveaway. Um, all you have to do is thumbs up this video, be subscribed to my channel, and then just comment down below if you have a six plus. And then if you have a five or 5s you guys can win this case which just is white with like um whatchamacallit just white with green writing and it says live colorfully and these are super protective because they have a bumper and yeah i will send that to you with a handwritten note i do that with all my giveaways which i think is really fun so if you guys do want to enter all you have to do is like this video be subscribed to my channel and then comment down below five or 5s or six plus and then i will know you are entered Okay, now moving on to skincare, hair care, and beauty. I'm gonna start with hair. Um, so the first thing I've been loving is this L'Oreal Professional Texture Expert Smooth Velours Smoothing Lotion hair thing product. Um, it's really, really good. You just use it after the shower in wet hair and you just kind of run it through your hair and then when your hair dries, it dries super smooth and soft and it kind of almost feels like you thinned it out a little bit. It doesn't look thinned out, don't worry. It just like feels a lot better. It's way easier to work with and then this is amazing if you actually have time after you wash your hair and you blow dry it with this in it. Um, it smells so good too and it just makes your hair so smooth and soft and like very shiny. It looks like those commercials that you're like, oh my god, I wish my hair looked like that. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna start with a lotion and it is the EOS Boost Love Your Skin Complete Care Hand and Body Lotion, 90% natural paraben free. It is an amazing body lotion and hand lotion and it smells like coconut. Oh, I just whacked myself in the face almost. I don't know why I went like that because I didn't hit myself in the face but I thought I was going to so it was just like reflex. I got it in the scent coconut which smells amazing. It smells so good. Wait, does it? Yes, it smells so good. It doesn't have a name on it, but this is what it looks like. Um, it makes your skin super smooth. I'll have a link down below if you guys are interested in buying it. Next for skincare, um, I have this little product, the Garnier Skin Naturals Micellar Cleansing Water, ordered off of Amazon, and I think they don't sell these in America. It is a makeup remover. It also removes dirt and it removes your face, your eyes, and your lips. It smells amazing if it gets in your, it does not smell amazing. I don't know why I said that. It doesn't smell like anything. That was so weird. It doesn't smell like a thing. I don't know why he said that. I'm kidding. Ow. <laughs> oh, I got lipstick on it. Did I smudge my face? Uh. Um, but yeah, Ugh. I'll have these linked down below on Amazon because they smell so good. Oh my God, why do they keep saying they smell good? I mean, they work well. I don't even know, guys, I don't know. Next for skincare is two products that have been just kind of my everyday and night cleansers. Um, these, I believe, are more pricey. I'm not sure how much they are, but they are very, 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 very good. They, oh, they are the Lancer Skincare, the polish and the cleanse. Um, the polish is like a scrub and it feels like sand on your face. And then the cleanse is just a smooth facial cleanser. So I use the polish um, only at nighttime. So I do the polish and then the cleanse. And then in the morning, I just do the cleanse. Um, and it's been keeping my skin solid so far. Knock on wood. I need to knock on wood. Kidding. <laughs> Seriously, I just spilled out all my makeup. Mm. Okay, and now for beauty products. I have a lot of concealers in here that I realized. Uh, I really been liking concealers. 
So, the first concealer that I've been loving is an old favorite, which is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, uh, which is just this one. It is in the color Neutralize. You twist this little part here, and then product comes up from, obviously, the little tube here onto this, and then you just apply it, or you can apply it onto your fingers and then your face, whatever you prefer, but I'm not kidding, this is amazing. And it's been an old favorite, and it's continued to be a favorite. It's you just don't get sick of it, it's so amazing. I have like three brand new packages that I haven't opened yet and I still have like half of that left, maybe like a quarter, so. Another Maybelline concealer is the Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand. I got this for Christmas in my stocking and I didn't know what all the hype was about, but I'm not kidding, it is amazing. Even though the Instant Age Rewind Concealer and the Fit Me Concealer are both by Maybelline, they are very different. This one is kind of a dupe for maybe the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, very light consistency and it blends very easily. This one has a bit more coverage than this one, but this one still gives amazing, amazing, amazing coverage and they both range in great different colors and it ranges from yellow undertones to pink undertones to all that jazz, so yeah, I'm actually obsessed with both of them and I've used them both this month like crazy. Cool. Next is my Boing Concealer from Benefit, and this concealer I haven't picked up in literally, how long ago, like eight months. And then I just decided in January to just give it a go. It looks amazing, but if you do have dry under eyes, this is probably not for you. One of those Maybelline ones, maybe the Fit Me Concealer would be more your type. And it gives, woo, it gives good coverage. It's a very light concealer, so it gives a nice highlight. and. I've just, I'm just re-fangirling over it. Can you say that about makeup? Can you fangirl over makeup? So yeah, it's been amazing and it's treated me very well this month. It's good. I should probably stop throwing my concealers. And lastly for concealer is the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer and Highlighter. Um, this is also one of my favorite concealers. I'm already halfway done with this. It's in this kind of tip, so it goes by pretty quickly. I recommend you guys check that out because in the US, we don't have Rimmel's Wake Me Up Concealer. And I feel like maybe this is kind of the same thing, the match perfection. I don't know, Oof, just a thought, I don't know. Do we have um, Rimmel Wake Me Up in America? I don't think we do. Let me know if we do because I really want it. I really want to try it, I just can't find it anywhere. I said I would stop throwing concealers, so then I dropped it instead. <laughs> Go me. Ow, I'm a mess. And then for a highlight slash blush, Maybelline's Master Glaze in the shade Warm Nude 40. And it's kind of a sparkly blush that I apply to my fingers and then my face or a brush and then my face. I don't really like um, putting these types of blushes and highlighters just straight to my face. I don't think that looks very good, um, but it's personal preference. It looks very, very pretty and in photos it looks like you can see it in the camera, it's like right there. I swear I'm not like being told to advertise Maybelline. They had just captured my heart this month. <laughs> Next, for lip products I have two and they're a combo and it's the Bobbi Brown Lip Color in Roseberry 26, which is what I'm wearing. I can't keep anything in my hands today, it's kind of a struggle. It's a deep red-ish color and then the lip liner from Bobbi Brown in the Crayon Contour is in the color Rose, and it looks like that. They're kind of a perfect, oh my god, I can't keep anything in my hand. That's unbelievable. So yeah, these two have been life. And they make your lips look kind of bigger and fuller. I don't know why, I just kind of feel that, so I thought I would say it. And for eyes, um, the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Liquid Eyeliner in ultra black has been my bay. Oh, I just broke it. Sorry, Bella, it's yours. It's a lot like the Stila one and the Kat Von D one that I was using before. Um, the line is very easy to make a wing with and it's dark and it's a lot cheaper than Stila and Kat Von D's. So yeah, that's why I like it. It's good, it's like a very good dupe. And with that eyeliner, I don't notice a difference from Kat Von D to Stila to that one, except maybe Kat Von D and Stila are like a little bit darker, but that just means you have to apply that one like twice, so it's really not bad. The Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. Um, I think this is just in black, yeah, it's in black. 
Okay, sometimes it kind of clumps your lashes together, so if you like that look, then this is definitely for you. But if you do put this on and then you just take an eyelash separator or you curl your lashes before, it looks amazing and they look super full and it's a great, great, great drugstore product. I think that's everything, so thank you guys all so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed my January favorite. Let me know down below if you guys have any other video ideas or something you guys want to see from me, and I will be sure to get on that. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.